Mods. They're a foundation of modern PC gaming. Without them, some of the biggest games of the last two decades would have never come to fruition. Games like Counter-Strike and League of Legends aren't just mods, they're revolutionary titles. But despite their successes, we still have to approach mods with diminished expectations. After all, these games aren't being created with the massive teams that work on our AAA titles. They're put together by folks like you and me, fans who create content for the sheer satisfaction of it, without the expectation of a paycheck every couple of weeks. We can only hold them accountable for so much. This is why it's so satisfying when a game like Portal Stories Mel comes around and completely blows those expectations out of the water. Let's put the gameplay and puzzle design aside for a moment and just look at the level of care and detail that went into making this game feel like a part of Valve's world. An absurd amount of new artwork was created solely for this game, all of which fits with both the design aesthetic of the core titles and their clever sense of humor. The writing, too, doesn't feel one bit out of place, which is high praise given the hilarious dialogue featured in the two official Portal titles. These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yep, that's how it's here. They even created brand new CGI sequences, lending a scale and polish to the ending that I was not expecting from such a small team. Every once in a while, something will stand out as off-brand, like the voice actor's close, but not quite their imitation of J.K. Simmons' as Gabe Johnson. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> Such inconsistencies are severely drowned out by the game's obvious affection for all things Valve. One of my favorite touches comes at the very beginning, which takes the form of a tram ride through Aperture Science during its heyday. It's a great little throwback to the original Half-Life, and a neat way of making the Half-Life and Portal titles feel even more like they exist within the same universe. As for the gameplay, you pretty much know what to expect here if you've played Portal 2. However, Portal Stories Mel takes some of the tools and mechanisms you discover towards the end of that title and incorporates them into the entirety of the game. There's a little explanation of how the mechanics work, and the puzzles get difficult very early on. It's apparent that the game was designed under the assumption that the player has already finished Portal 2. There's a difficulty curve as you progress too, meaning that Portal Stories Mel gets really, really hard. I'll cop to looking up a few of the solutions on YouTube after spending over an hour on single puzzles. If I have one complaint about Mel, it's that the game expects you to figure out ways to manipulate the puzzles that the core Portal games never use, but it never nudges you toward discovering those mechanisms. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though, and if the biggest complaint one could have about Mel is that it poses too much of a challenge, then it stands in good company. The pacing, writing, art design, voice acting, and attention to detail are all some of the best I've seen in a game this year. The fact that you can get it all for free simply by already owning Portal 2 is icing on the cake. Definitely give Portal Stories Mel a shot. This just got a lot more serious.